folder when I keep using it. Neurogenic inflammation is going to be released from that substance P, neurochiridine, calcium building, gene related peptides. It's not important what they are, it's important that we know they exist. And what happens, it gets absorbed into the muscle. Remember when we were in elementary school, they had that liquid glue, right? Liquid glue. So just think that we have a sponge and we pour water in it. Water is going through the sponge in like in this scenario. So this, the water is going in the muscle, you squeeze the sponge, the water comes out of the muscle. But neurogenic inflammation is like pouring that liquid glue from elementary school into the sponge. We squeeze it, some of it comes out, the majority stays behind. And if we put another sponge next to it, like a neighboring muscle, it starts to stick together, right? And over time, it sticks. And what does it create? It creates knots. It creates tight bands. And what do they call them? They call them adhesions. Adhesions stick together. 